Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how can we compare two images and I'm going to export my code file to this GitHub repository. Now we require a package to accomplish that and the name of the package is Jim. So in Google just search for npm Jim and then click on this first link. Now this would be your landing page. Now Jim is an acronym for JavaScript Image Manipulation Program. It is an image processing library for Node written entirely into JavaScript with zero native dependency and that is the very reason guys that I've chosen this library over any other library right and this supports a lot of image extensions okay and also like you can use this library in your TypeScript program because it offers you different types as well all right now guys the first step is we have to install this library and here's the command so just copy this command okay open your project open the terminal execute this now this library is a lot of features related to image processing but in this video we are focusing on comparing two images and for that there are three methods available hash distance and diff so hash basically returns a 64 bit perceptual hash of an image so hashes of similar images will also be similar okay that's the point now then we have got the distance method now the hemming distances between the hashes of two images that is the number of bits which differ now last one is the difference now with the help of this method the percentage differences between two images would be found okay now in this gym documentation it is recommended to use both distance and difference to compare images now if either are less than 0.15 then the images can be considered to be the same they claim 99% success with 1% false positives guys so it's a great library guys so let's start writing our program so we have to bring in that library guys const chimp is equal to require and we bring in that library okay then this time we are going to start creating a function directly so we say const compare images is equal to file name one and guys file name two then we have to read these files guys okay and for that we are going to say jim dot and we have this read method guys okay what does it take so it takes in the data or the file okay so we are going to provide in this file name what now this returns us a promise okay so as you could see this returns us a promise so we have to use a wait okay and since we are using await we have to make a function a sync okay and then we are going to store that in a variable and we give it a name example one okay now same way we perform this operation for file name two then guys we have to identify the hash okay so for hashing we have the method hash so we say example one dot hash okay all right so we store that in a variable again this returns us a string so we say const example one hash is equal to this okay same way guys we do for other file let's now find out the distance so we say const distance is equal to dot distance okay so we have this method which takes in two images okay so we have to provide this example one and this example two last one is difference it says jim dot diff is the method guys and in here also you have to provide the images now you store that into a variable diff like so all right so we have hash we have distance and we have difference okay and it's recommended to use both distance and difference guys let's use all three of these so we say if example one hash is not equal to example two hash or distance is greater than 0 0.15 or difference is greater than 0 0.15 if that is the case 
let's say we just return a string now uh, images don't match like so else we say return images are same so let us also look at our sample images so we have example one then we have got example two so example one and example two are the same images but they are different file in our file system okay then we have got this third image which contains this information all right now let's execute this program so we say compare images we provide in example 1.jpg and example 2.jpg all right now this is a sync function so you've got to use then okay and in here you get the result back so in this callback you just lock to the console the result and the result could be whether the images are same or not and in case of an error we just write this catch block and pass this argument to this callback function and we simply log the error to the console all right like so let us execute this since these two images are same so we should see same images okay images are same now if we change this to the third image which is image hyphen text dot jpg if you run this now you get images don't match all right guys so this is how we can compare two images now i highly recommend you go and read the documentation of that library because like i mentioned in the beginning that this library is an image processing library and there are a lot of methods and features available which you can leverage okay so i hope you like this thank you so much